Hi friends, in this video, we will try to learn how to do the tables from one to 100 in our mind. Because once we can do that, a lot of calculations become so easy for us to do. Let us say if you want to do 27 multiplied by four or 36 multiply by eight or 48 times seven, 54 times eight, 67 times nine, 82 times six or 94 times eight in our mind, how we can do that just in two or three seconds. So we'll try to learn a couple of tricks uh, and then we will come back and do these questions. So let us say trick number one. And this is the foundational trick. You can utilize almost for everything up to one to 100 uh, uh, in getting the table. So let us say if I wanna do 43 times seven, so 43, I can split as 40 plus 3. And then I can multiply C1 to both of them individually. And let us say 40 times 7. So I don't need to worry about 40. I can do 4, 7, ja. So 4, 7, ja, 28. And then there's a 0 at the end, which I can put it down. And then I can do 3, 7, ja, 21. And I can plus them. 280 plus 21, which is just going to be 301. So easy, isn't it? So let us say the second one, 67, I can split as 60 plus seven. And then I can multiply by four individually. And here I can do just six fours are 24. But don't forget that zero at the end. So 240, seven fours are 28 and then you can plus them 240 plus 20, 28 is going to be 268 so let us say please 34 times 8 what we can do is we can split 34 as 30 plus 4 times 8 times 8 3 it's a 24 0 at the end 4 it's a 32 and then just plus them which is going to be 272 so after learning this first trick, we'll go back and we'll do these questions, guys. So let us say if you can also do with me, let us say 27 times 4. So 27, in your mind, you can split as 20 plus 7. Now 20 times 4, which is 80. And then 7 times 4, which is 28. So 80 plus 28 which is 108, and we're done, guys, yeah? 36 plus times eight. So 36, you can split as 30 plus six. Now 30 times eight is going to be 240. 30 times eight is 240, and six eights are 48. 240 plus 48, 240 plus 48, which is 288. So we are done with this as well. Yeah, let's see if you can try this one. 48 times seven. Here, you can be a little bit more creative. 48, other than splitting into 40 plus eight, I like to split that as like 50 minus two because that will be more easier. So sometimes we can be creative, yeah? So 50 minus two. So let's say 50 times seven. 50 times seven. 5, 7, 35, so 350, and then 2, 7, 14, 350 minus 14, which will give me 336. Let us see if I want to do 54 times 8. So definitely I can do 54 as 50 plus 4. Now 50 times 8, which is 400 and 4 times 8, which is 32. So 400 plus 32, which is 432. The next one, guys, let's say if you can do it with me or before me. 67 times 9. 60 plus 7. So 60 times 9. 6 nines are 54, so 540. 540. Plus seven nines are sixty-three. Five forty plus sixty-three. 
So 540 plus 60 is 603 more. So 603. Let us see if I want to do this one. You can also do, guys, with me now, yeah? 82 times 6. So 80 plus 2. 80 times 6. 8, 6, uh, 48. So 480. 80 times 6 is 480. And 2, 6 are 12. 480 plus 12, which is 492. It starts working, actually, isn't it? Now let us say if you want to do 94 times 8. So this is 90 plus 4. 90 times 8. 9, 8 is 72. So 720. 720 plus 4, 8 is 32. 720 plus 32, which will give me 752. Yeah. So now with trick one, we solve this one. Another wonderful trick also we are going to learn, guys. So in trick number two, let us say if there is a multiple of like 11 or 12 or 13 or 14 or 16, 17, 18, 19, how we can work out that and that can make our life easy. So let us say if we have 22 or 24 or 32 or 38 like this. Okay. So what can we do? Let us say I want to do 22 times 6. I will not think about 22. Until I will think about 11 instead. Because 22 is 11 times 2. So I'll do like 11 6, which is 66. And then 66 times 2, which is 132. That's quite easy actually to do. Let's say 16. We know it gets 16. It is 13 times 2. So I can do 13 times 8 which is 104, and then I can multiply by 2, which is 2, 0. It's so easy to do, yeah? Now, 32, which is 16 times 2, 16, 6 are 96 times 2, which is going to be 192, yeah? And 38, so 38 is 19, 2, za. so I can do just 19, 4, za. 19, 4, za, 96, and then I can do 96 times 2, which will be 192. Yeah, so that is our trick number two. Now the next one, this is also a very cool trick in which we are going to actually combine two tricks. Yeah, Whenever any number on a multiply by 11, what am I going to do? So this is quite easy, 32 times 11, so three and two. I can write down three and two in a split way. And in the middle, I can add them. Three plus two is five, so put down five, done. If it is 45 times 11, 4 and 5 in a split way. In the middle, 4 plus 5, which is 9. And done, guys. Quite cool, isn't it? If it is 87 times 11, I can put down 8 here and 7 here. Now, a little bit tricky. So if I do 8 plus 7, which is 15. So that means I could put down 5 here and 1 as a carry. So my answer is going to be 957. And this is a wonderful question, guys. Let's say if it is a three digit one, like 852 times 11, what I can do? Still, my first and the last digit, I'm going to split eight and two. Then I will add these two numbers, five plus two and seven. So I'll put down seven here. And then I'll add this to eight plus five, which is 13. So I'll put down three here and one K. And my answer is going to be. 9372. I'm done, guys. Yeah. And the next trick is let us see if I want to do any number multiplied by 5. So I will not do like 5. I will change 5 with 10 divided by 2. And then after I can do like 2 and 36, so I can cut it. 18 to za. And then 18 times 10 is going to be 180, which is very easy to do it, guys. So basically, what we are doing is we are changing our 5 with 10 divided by 2. So we are going to half this number first. So 42 divided by 2, which is 21. And then we'll add the 0. So basically, we are making the number half and putting 0 at the end. Like, if you want to do directly, 64 times 5. So what is the half number of 64? That is 32. And then I can put on 0 at the end. And done, isn't it? Yeah. Now we'll do some cool questions, guys. Let us say 33 times 7. 
So the best thing to do is you can put down 11 times 3. Because 33, they are the multiples of 11, yeah? So you can put down 11 threes are, and then times 7. Now what we are going to do is we are going to combine this. 7 threes are 21. So 21 times 11. Now, whenever we multiply by 11, we have a trick. 21 times 11, so I can put down 2 and 1 here. And 2 plus 1 is 3, which is in the middle. Now, this one, I can do 44 as 11, multiply by 4, multiply by 6. Now, 4, 6 are 24. 24 times 11, so I can put down 24, 2 and 4 in a splitting way. And 2 plus 4 is 6, which I can put on the middle. So that is going to be so cool, isn't it? 66 times 4, you can do 11 times 6 times 4. Again, 6 for 24. So I'll get 2 and 4 here. And then 2 plus 4, 6 in the middle. 88, so it's going to be 11 times 8 times 3. Again, 8 is a 24. 24 times 11. So I'll split 2 and 4. And 2 plus 4 is 6. This is just a coincidence, guys. We are getting couple of answers same. Now here this is going to be 11 times 9 times 7. Now 9 7 is 63. 63 times 11. So put down 6 here, 3 here. And 6 plus 3 is 9. So 9 in the middle. Done. And if we are multiplying by 5, we already learned the trick. Hey guys, you tell me. What is 26 times 5? Did you work out? You did make this half, isn't it? 6, 26, so half is 13 at the zero. 32 times 5. Half of 32 is 16 at the zero. Half of 38 is 19 at the zero. Half of 46 is 23 at the... How simple, guys. Half of 86 is 43 and at the zero. And we are done, guys. Isn't it? So now any number up to one two hundred table guys you can do it in your mind without any problem guys subscribe to the channel so you can learn wonderful tricks like that guys thank you very much see you in the next video bye